Item number SCP-054-FR Level of Threat Orange Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures A security perimeter of 1 km must be established around all the beaches where a manifestation of SCP-054-FR has already been observed. Only the members of the Foundation with a right of access to Level 3 are authorized to enter it in the framework of experiences. The access is prohibited to all civilians under the pretext of the study of a population of marine mammals, whose name is to be defined according to the affected environments. Anamnesia of Class A for the simple observer and Class C for victims must be administered if necessary. All the photos and videos taken of SCP-054-FR must be destroyed and a massive disinformation campaign must be launched if these have been made public. SCP-054-FR is a phenomenon affecting some waves of the west coast of the and and those of the east coast of the islands the and the It is characterized by the physical transformation of waves in the jaws of a great white shark, able to drive at a speed of three times higher than their usual speed if an animal non-aquatic or a human being is located between SCP-054-FR and the nearest coast. The damage caused to individuals affected by SCP-054-FR will be those of a bite also recognized as being that of a white shark, but the pressure increases according to the height of the wave affected. The injuries noted being the amputation of one or several members, ranging up to the pure and simple abolition of the individual. The damage, lethal in 68% of cases, are applied at the time of the collapse of the wave on the victim. The likelihood of the appearance of SCP-054-FR grows considerably if the individuals mentioned previously are located at a distance estimated at 250 meters off the shore. That this will be swimmers, divers, or aquatic vehicles of moderate size, the main victims being the surfers. SCP-054-FR manifests itself only on the part of the wave that's closest to its victims and more potential prey of SCP-054-FR will be numerous, the more it will occupy a major face of the wave. Once visible, SCP-054-FR will give a high speed of acceleration to the wave affected, up to kilometers an hour. In addition, its manifestation is silent and unpredictable. However, it has been noticed that diving under the wave affected before the impact allows you to effectively protect yourself. SCP-054-FR is capable of forming on the waves of a height of 4 meters minimum, but the maximum height that it can achieve is unknown. Addendum 054-A A series of experiments have highlighted the fact of releasing several liters of blood of animal origin in the area of manifestation of SCP-054-FR causes its training in the two minutes following the test, and that the wave crashed at the location of the release of the fluid in the water of the sea. Another series of tests with human blood, collected in the hospitals of the Foundation, causes a reaction identical, but in just 60 seconds, on average, to share of SCP-054-FR. A single reaction was observed by a pocket of blood spilled in water. Addendum 054-B Several maritime birds have been observed to be gobbled up by SCP-054-FR when they moved before a wave of more than 4 meters height. SCP-054-FR does not seem to respond, however, that rarely in the face of these animals, and its attacks against individual humans are much more frequent. Addendum 054-C All observations made previously have led to the conclusion that individuals injured whose blood is spreading in the water have approximately four times more likely to be victims of SCP-054-FR than of that of healthy subjects. On the other hand, Individuals not wounded who have severely limited their movements in the water, or who are detained, have never yet been subject to attacks of SCP-054-FR. Addendum 054-D All attempts to pull on the manifestations of SCP-054-FR have proved unnecessary, the bale disappearing in the wall of water. In addition, attempts to cover up the smell of an individual have also proven unsuccessful. SCP-054-FR did not seem to be affected in addition to measure by the lure.